Delighted to be joined by Joe Leasley here. Um, as we're nearing the running of the season, how would you kind of assess your own season so far? I know that you've had a long period out, but do you want to quickly talk about and assess your own season? Yeah, it's been good. I've had more clubs than Tiger Woods. Um, so I had three clubs this season. Started off uh, at Boston, then went to Darlington, uh, and then got a transfer to Kidderminster where I've signed uh, there till the end of next season. Uh, but yeah, it's been good. I think I've played probably 30 games, 35 games. I've had a, a serious injury in there as well. So um, yeah, I've really enjoyed every bit of it, even the ups and downs of uh, what I've faced. But yeah, so not done too bad. Kidderminster having a big push for the playoffs now. How do you kind of assess their season as a whole? I think they've underachieved. I think we've underachieved, um, should I say, um, definitely. Um, it's a massive football club, Kidderminster, probably something that's probably too big for the Conference North in a sense of the fan base, um, the little town, you know, everything about it seems that um, it could be uh, set to go higher. Um, but it hasn't been that case this season. Uh, they're just outside the playoffs. One point in it, we're a couple of games to go. Um, who knows if we can make it? I think if we post six points, we've got a right chance. But until uh, we do that, um, we won't know. And uh, we've got two really hard games coming up that we're not going to take for granted. And getting six points out of them is an achievement in itself. Going away to Southport and at home to Kettering, who are also uh, fighting for their lives to stay in the division. So yeah, if we can get six points out of that, we'll have a right chance of being in it. But not taking anything for granted with those two games. What's it like to see back after that series injury? I know that you've played five on the bounce, won five since being back, so are you happy to be back playing? Yeah, loving being back playing, obviously uh, any injury at any uh, any time of your career is hard, but obviously just kind of getting a bit of a, a run in the team at Kidderminster, I feel like I found a bit of a home there and for that to kind of get cut short with a serious injury, being out three, four months was difficult, uh, but now I'm back playing, enjoying it and just looking to the future really, hopefully have a good end to the season, if we can get in the playoffs. Um, we've got as good a chance as anybody is going up, but like I say, there's a long way to go before that can happen. Um, and hopefully, um, you know, it's a positive end to the season. Fantastic uh, support that they've got at uh, Kidderminster. Don't want to quickly talk about what it's like playing in front of them and um, the stadium as well. It's a good stadium. Don't want to quickly talk about what that's like. Yeah, it's fantastic. Obviously, joining a big football club at this level has obviously always been the what I've wanted to do. I've never. I've always um, tried to attach myself to big clubs, big fan bases. Um, it's what I kind of thrive off, and obviously Kidderminster's huge. We're getting around two and a half thousand fans every week. And like I said at the beginning, we have underachieved. For, so for them to stick with us for every game, I think we've got one of the highest average attendances throughout the season. So they've been fantastic. Um, so hopefully, like I say, we can try and get in those playoffs and give them a bit back uh, because they've been great all year and. Uh, They've been fantastic with me, they've been very welcoming, they've been very warm towards me, so yeah, um, all set for uh, a good future really. Thanks for your time, Joe.